How's it going today? Good. How are you doing? Hey, maybe we can get the guys to spray off later. Ah, that noise is not distracting. <laughs> I'll be happy to answer any questions that I can. Doug has a shoulder injury, uh, unfortunately, and he's going to go to injured reserve. Uh, we signed Corey Legion. We're really excited about that. We think he's an excellent football player. Thrilled to have him. Uh, Bryson Allen Williams was added to the roster as a linebacker. We have some injuries at that position, so obviously he's going to come in and get ready to compete this week against the Seahawks. And Andrew DePaula uh, was released as well. Uh, we needed to make a couple roster moves today to, to sign Bryson Allen Williams and Corey Legion. How did Trent uh, sort of separate with that job? That was tough. That was, uh, that was a very close call. Um, we've got a young kicker, a young punter, and a young snapper now. So all the people that uh, don't think I like young players, uh, bah humbug to all you. Well, if you've studied the film, you see what we see. He's made more plays than any of our corners. He's playing extremely well. He's confident. I mean, he's had a lot of ball production. And he's also been a factor on special teams. So uh, we're really pleased with Nixon. Uh, back to uh, Legion. Uh, having seen somebody who Well, we're a one-gap, four-three defense. Uh, last year, you know, when we came here, we were struggling to put the pieces together, uh, being a three-four team for a few years. Legit is a legitimate three technique. He can also be a penetrator as a as a nose. He can play heavy on the center in your sub packages, your three-down alignments. He's smart. He's got I think 25 career sacks, so he gives us another. Uh, veteran player with inside pass rush ability. He can bat down passes, plays with a motor. We're, we're thrilled to have him. We're going to try to get him in great shape and get him ready as soon as possible. What is uh, Jelly's status? Jelly hurt his knee. Um, we think he'll be back hopefully for the season opener, but um, he's out. More guys? Yeah. JJ Nelson still dealing with that? Yes, he has an ankle and. Uh, we don't think it's 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 real uh, serious. Hopefully, he'll be ready for the regular season. How about Josh tomorrow? Tomorrow, we have a lot of guys uh, that are uh, practicing today that are somewhat limited. Tomorrow's another one, a slight hamstring, but uh, doing much better. Having uh, having uh, Andrew Luck uh, retire last night, what's, what's your reaction? Well, I, I was surprised like everybody else now, not shocked. You know, he's had some injuries. And if you know Andrew, he's one of the great, not only quarterbacks, he's a great competitor. He's also really advanced in life. I'm sure he has a million things that he can do. The NFL will miss him. I know I'll miss competing against him. He's a good friend and a great player. And I wish him the best. How's Isaiah Johnson doing? Yeah, he's, uh, he's struggling. You know, he had, had a... Facial injury against the Rams. Um, not quite sure if he'll be ready for the season opener, but he's been out for the last couple of days. How's, how's DV done in stepping in for Gabe? Who? Jordan Debbie. Good. Yeah, Debbie's done good. He's um, uh, didn't play last week, obviously, but he's been a guard, left guard, right guard, center his whole career. You know, he's going to be good. He's going to be fine. Denzel Good is back practicing, which is also good at right guard. It's good to see Good. We need some good things out of the big man. But, so um, one or the other for the first week? I think so. And Cooper's going to play some right guard this week uh, against Seattle. Cotton's going to play a lot at left guard. We like him too. So we've got some young guys that are emerging. He's got some veteran players that are coming back, and uh, hopefully they can hold down the fort because they got to replace a great player. The, the transition Uh, why did you guys identify him to make the switch? And you mentioned that he's done well. What's... Oh, I think Cable deserves a lot of credit. You know, uh, he's uh, he's developed some players 
from defensive side of the ball to offensive side of the ball. He's made a lot of tight ends, tackles, etc. But you know, this kid has the size, the mobility, and the traits that a lot of centers have that are successful. And a lot of players come into pro football and transition from tackle to guard or guard to center. This kid's done a great job. I credit Lem and, and Cable and um, the grind that they put in behind the scenes has been impressive. Do you like the, uh, the trend of uh, starters playing less in the preseason or do you have some concerns about them not getting enough work in? Or well, the problem is, is, you know, the preseason isn't just for the starters. You know, these poor backups don't even get a rep when the season starts. You know, so, uh, you know, we got to use these, these preseason games to uh, develop young players. And, uh, you know, we might have five or six undrafted rookies make the team. We'd never found that out if we didn't play them. So, uh, you know, I don't think the preseason has ever been for the veterans as much as the practices are. But I think the games are critical to evaluate young players, quarterbacks that don't get much of a chance when the season starts. You guys all good? Okay. Thanks, Will. Yeah. Appreciate it. You guys have a good one. Thanks. Thanks.